Welcome to Overrun, a brand new competitive way to play Gears of War that's available only in Judgment. I'm Lieutenant Damon Baird, and I'll be walking you through your training. The concept is simple. Two teams of five. Duke it out over a generator. The COG needs to protect its generator, while the Locusts need to destroy it. In every match, you'll get to play as both COG defenders and Locust attackers. Who can destroy the generator fastest? Well, that's up to you. Whoever does, wins. As a COG defender, you need to choose a class. Each class comes with a specific weapon loadout and nifty unique ability. First, we have the Engineer, who in my opinion is probably the most important person on the battlefield. Also the handsomest. I mean, just look at him. Engineers can deploy temporary sentries to defend against the Locust. I recommend placing them before you repair damaged fortifications. To repair, just swap to your blowtorch and fire at the nearest barrier. But remember, no one in Overrun can build a new fortification. So once you lose it, it's gone. Finito. Next up is the soldier. Hey, it's Cole. Say hi to Cole, everyone. Besides bringing sheer firepower to the fight, the soldier's special ability is tossing out ammo crates to the rest of his team. Trust me, in Overrun, you're gonna need all the ammo you can get. Then we have the Medic. She's got a handy stim gas grenade that not only heals wounded teammates, it revives those who have been knocked down. Everybody loves a Medic, right? Finally, the Scout. He's able to take the high ground by climbing into perches accessible only to him. Plus, he's got a special tagging beacon that, when thrown, identifies all nearby enemies to the team, even through walls. Helpful tip? A tagged enemy takes extra damage when shot. Hold your noses, people. It's time to talk about the Locust. All of our Locust pals come with their own special talents and abilities. As a Locust, you earn points for the damage you inflict on enemies and defenses alike. You then use these points to unlock even bigger, badder, and uglier Locust. First up, the Ticker! He chomps defenses, self-destructs, and has the ability to dash really, really fast. And he's just so cute. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The Wretch can leap over defenses, climb into the scout's perches, and stun opponents with its scream, like my sister. The Grenadier, as you can probably deduce from its highly imaginative name, is able to throw frag grenades. Get him up on a blood mount, and he can toss frags even faster. The Cantus is the Locust Medic. He can heal everyone in his immediate vicinity, and for that, I hate him. His healing ability is greatly boosted by riding on a blood mount. Did someone say blood mount? These charming creatures can carry the Grenadier and Cantus to the front, and also quicken the recharge of their passengers' special abilities. The Corpser's armored front legs make it incredibly hard to kill. Even worse, it can burrow underground and duck right under cog fortifications. The Serapede attacks with its mandibles. It can also rear up and spit poison at distant enemies. The only way to kill it is to shoot it in the butt. Yes, the butt. Evolution's a weird thing. And finally, we have the Mauler. Not only does he wield a giant shield and flail, he has the ability to spin his shield, which reflects any and all incoming fire. More important, the Mauler spinning shield can chop a nearby gear into tiny pieces. Whew. That's a lot of info. But before you jump into action, we need to talk about teamwork. If you want to win, you have to work together. Take advantage of your abilities, support your teammates, and coordinate your attacks. Remember, to win the match, you need to protect your generator and destroy theirs as fast as possible. Good luck out there. You're gonna need it. Bear it out.